stay my blade from the flesh of the innocent. Hide in plain sight. Never compromise the Assassin Brotherhood. These are the tenets of the Creed. The principles I used to live by. I was a young man then. The Seven Years' War was about to begin. I could not have imagined what the future had in store for me. Nor the cost I would choose to bear. My name is Shay Patrick Cormac. This is my story. What's happening, ladies and gents? Slay made here. Playing some Assassin's Creed Rogue. Because I just can't get enough Assassin's Creed on my channel, apparently. <laughs> That's okay. I like it. It's fun. Well, won't like the fire. Oh, oh. oh, I missed. Like a noob. <laughs> Admit it, I nearly had you. <laughs> nearly counts for nothing, Shay. And besides, no, that was just luck. <laughs> I make my own luck, Liam. Ah, you've been saying that for years, but you're precious little to show for it. Or have you been spending it all getting out of trouble? Well, you know, trouble just follows me around. Speak of the devil. All oh, right, hoods, gotta put those up. Can't forget. Come on, Captain Deliver Andre and his crew must have been in trouble. Who knew meeting with smugglers would lead to no good? <gasps> treasure. Oh god, I want to get the treasure. I still don't understand why you can't tell me what we're doing here. Because Chevalier decided not to tell you. I thought we were friends, Liam. We are. But this is business. It doesn't concern you, Shay. How yeah. dare you tell me what concerns me? Am I going too fast for you? I'm just keeping an eye on you in case you fall down and hurt yourself. Oh. I might need to turn some V-Sync on or something. Just a little bit. A bit liney. There's a tree. There's a loot. What is this new sword symbol? That'll do. And how? Oh. Hurry. We best not keep Chevalier waiting. Oh, saucy character. Where the hell were you two? We were out hunting. What happened here? My men were attacked by some English sea dogs. Why, Captain Joseph, couldn't you fight them all off by yourself like you're always saying? It is Captain Louis-Joseph Gauthier, Chevalier de la Vérandrie. And you are dreaming if you think any training could make you into a proper assassin. Do you even know what that means? It means being responsible for an ancient and proud tradition. It means obeying your mentor without question. How else will we ensure freedom for the human race? That's pretty words, Chevalier. But I don't feel too free at the moment. Well then, feel educated! <laughs> you irresponsible wretch! Nobody talks to me that way. I will teach you some manners. Or hit my moneymaker face. It's how I get the girls. You I will teach never you gotten a girl. Gentlemen, stop! We got a common enemy, and I reckon he's close. The Royal Navy attack my vessel and force my men to flee. We are stranded, and what is worse, the smugglers we were supposed to meet have been taken prisoner. Shay and I are free, those smugglers. You, treat her wounded. Smugglers.
Take these. Don't use your Deleted. fist next time. What is this, Dark Souls? Two short swords? Tread with care, Shay. The Royal Navy be ready for us. Remember your train. Or are they ready for this? Uh, I didn't think so. Ready to teach him a lesson? They don't stand a chance. Oh, Where are you mates now, you built rat? Talk before I bash out your brains! Keep an eye out, lads! The cows are still out there somewhere! <laughs> there he goes again. Oh, you didn't you see. Did. You didn't see anything. Have you ever heard this whistle before? It's a pretty good one. You come back here. Can I devil assassinate? Ah, I can. It feels so good. Hmm. What is this? Here I am looting stuff when the battles are going on. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> I should have killed those guys, and now the game is gonna fail me. Because <laughs> I looted first. What? That is absolutely not where I told you to go. Oh god. No! Oh well. At least I know how to counter. Ish. I kind of know how to counter. Oh. 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 You're free. I'm Batman. <laughs> Those other guys are like, see ya! My squiddly spurge! Hmm, maybe it's a good thing I didn't tussle with that guy anymore. I was saving those fellas for you. Very thoughtful. Maybe you were not completely useless. Shit. Don't do it! Oh. Speaking of useless, those blockheads won't be needing this vessel anymore. I will name it the Jacked Off. I mean, no. this pile of mail. I will name it the mail. She is yours. Now bring me back to my ship. You heard, Chevalier? This vessel is yours, Shay. Go on. Take the wheel. Some of the men you rescued agreed to join us. We a good crew. I'm not so certain about the. I'm a sailor. But next to me, you are the most the experienced moon. sailor in the Brotherhood, Shay. Besides, we could use another vessel. Even this pitiful one. She's mine, ain't she? Hell of shit. I love snow zones. Your own pile of garbage, yes. Why you guys just keep ah, pooping on my with ship? With a lick of paint and a few new cannons, she'll look as fine as anything. I, I'm pretty sure I know how to fire the cannons. On the seven seas. Shall we begin, Captain? Indeed, mate. Oh, God, no. She's a mess, but she's still afloat. You must have jumped off that iceberg. Morgan, that silly fairy queen is man. The wise. Oh, she's perfect for you. <laughs> a ship. She's a ship. They will sink her. Let's put the Morgan to the test, Captain. Uh, Say, ready for battle, man. <laughs> Yeah, boys. Skip the game. Stop them, boy. On your mark, yeah, get this guy. Five. Oh, yeah. Can I ram one? I just want to ram one. They're tearing her to pieces. Do something. Oh, slow mo. Kill Cam. I'm gonna run into my own group of dudes. No, oh, I did. I'm sorry. The vessel is battle ready after all. I will return to what is left of the gift. 
It's a long way home, and we have repairs to do. Sing hearty, lads. Chevalier is pleased with us. I love being a seaman. Permission to sing a shanty. What course would you have me set, Shay? Time to report back to the mentor. Wouldn't you agree? Wise words, Captain. Wise words. Time to set sail back to where we just came from so I can loot everything. My game broke. What the hell did you do? It's some kind of dormant virus? Shit. Hang on, I'm getting you out of there. I want to stay in. <sighs> Sorry for the rough exit. Your piece working, check. You were just an anonymous. Anonymous, yes? You were using it to access a genetic memory file in Helix labeled Shea Cormac? You worked for Abstergo Entertainment, remember? But if I'm not you, then who am I? Your session triggered something bad, and it's affecting the whole building. We need to find your boss. You haven't forgotten your boss, have you? Melanie LeMay, zipper, chipper, overachiever? Here, take your communicator, check it if you get lost. Now let's get out of here. But... What Follow there, me. What if there are post-it notes around here? This chaos is absolutely your fault, in case you're wondering. Everything is gonna be okay, guys. Stay positive. What the hell is happening? A file labeled Shea Cormac was booby-trapped with some kind of virus. Your job is to prevent things like this. We need to contain these genetic memories, then we can destroy them. No. Isolate them. I want to study these memories. But... With respect, Miss LeMay, this is not a request. You heard the man. Fine. I need to borrow your numbskull. That okay with you, Whoa. Mr. May? Hey there, this might seem a bit weird, but what you're gonna bitch. work for contractors we hired to, you know, upgrade our security. Mr. Otto Berg and Miss Violet DaCosta. Call me Violet. I have to go check on our people and prepare something for you the press. Bitch. Do whatever bitch. they tell you to do, okay? Go team! Technically, you're not responsible for this, but you're the one who let the virus out, so I think it's only fair you help. Mr. Why Bird you wants us to relive Shay's genetic memories. To do that, we need to access them from Helix. But the Helix is down. We'll have to reboot the main servers in the basement. Give me that. Some sort of document. About stuff. Man, and things. the scientist virus is a genius. Not only does it restrict our access to the cloud, it's adapted to fuck up the other operating systems that regulate building functions. No, the fish are gonna die. Melanie, the elevators are out of commission. Are we stuck on this floor? Damn, yes. I'll get a repair crew on site ASAP. There's a working area server on this floor. I guess it'll have to do for now. Yeah, I guess it will. Agent DaCosta, I want regular updates on your progress with Shay's genetic memories. Why? He's just a nobody as far as I can tell. If Shay Cormac is who I suspect he is, then this temporary setback... Oh, I need to change... I need to change this feet sink issue. After this episode, I'll do it. I also want to loot all the rooms again. Ooh. For me? You shouldn't have this splinter cell. <laughs> of course it is. Once you receive yeah. the server, I'll connect your Animus workstation back to Helix. In theory, if you align the beams to segments of the core, it should solve the problem. But here's where it gets tricky. You have to move the circles in such a way that each segment is powered by a beam. The keyword here is each. One beam <laughs> and one beam only per core segment, okay? Once everything is lit up properly, the system will reboot. Got it? Give it a shot. Can I just spin it around until I win? Apparently not. Select ring. Uh, ok. 
Okay, so I select a different ring now. Where it's where which one? What? Nope. Good job. This car wasn't too complex. I told you. But we just spin it around until you win. The building will require more work. The assassins would have you believe that Al Mualim was a great mentor who became corrupted with greed. And that he schemed with the Templars to acquire an apple of Eden. I see instead a shrewd and cunning leader. A man who used his best assassin, Altair ibn Lahad, to eliminate his conspirators in order to keep the apple for himself, so that he could use it to enforce world peace. It was a Granny Smith apple and delicious. Al Mualim was not a Templar. It is interesting to me that his vision of peace was more in line with Templar philosophy than assassin. In the past, both sides had the same goal, that of peace. Our only difference was how we chose to achieve it. Had Al Mualim not been killed by Altair and allowed to carry out his plan, perhaps we would not be fighting now. It was only after Altair reformed the Brotherhood with its new ideals of free will that the conflict truly escalated and spread across the planet. For if the so-called wise man of the mountain can see things from our point of view, surely the same can be said for other assassins. Whoa, don't speak for the other assassins, you crazy man. Uh, okay. So, I'm not sure you're supposed to see that. <laughs> just, uh, you should just get back to your animus. My memory has already been well, erased. You could, in theory, restore your co-workers' workstations if you, you know, feel like being helpful. What? And you could, in theory, find some more digital goodies if you, you know, feel like being sneaky. Hello. Hey, one of your co-workers dropped his communicator by the elevator. If you see any tech lying around like that, grab him. There might be a clue as to who did this. I did already. Now that you have unlocked Shay Cormac's memories, we stand on the brink of a grand discovery. I know you must have it's got a flash of light. You know what that me. means. For now, all I will say is that. Uh, is that I cut you off mid sentence? Oh, is this my terminal? Whoops. <laughs> I thought I was being helpful. 